brilliant. In a moment, I'm going to be asking for five volunteers. You're going to become celebrities for the night. Now, by celebrities, I mean major celebrities. Celebrities so famous, in fact, that you will get your own star of fame, like the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You will indeed. Woo! Come on, a bit more excited. Because we've got Walk of Fame star number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. So there's five different positions that people could possibly stand in. I've also got some envelopes containing something. We'll come to them later. So we need a first volunteer. So let's, uh, let's pick on this. Um, no, we've got that gentleman up. Oh, uh, this gentleman here, can, can you come up, sir? Give this gentleman a round of applause. And make it nice and <laughs> Your name, sir? My name is Gary. Nice to meet you, Gary. Stand behind the stars. Now, you've got five stars there, but look at me first. By the way, from here on in, I'd like you to remember the number one. You are number one. So, number one. I'm going to go with that. So, there's five places you could possibly stand there, Gary. You may choose to go to the furthest distance. You might want to be lazy and stay in the middle, you might want to walk this way. But now just take a few moments and choose your decision of which star you're going to stand behind, which is going to become your Walk of Fame star. <coughs> Position number two. We need the second volunteer. So, <coughs> let's, this gentleman here, give him a round of applause, come up. <laughs> From here on in, sir, what's your name? Lawrence, from here on in, you're person number two. Remember your number? Number two. Number two. Look at me, Lawrence. Um, I think I'll go with that. Okay. You've got a choice now only of one, two, three, four positions. Please choose one of the stars to stand behind. <coughs> That's interesting. Okay. We need uh, three more people, so we'll do this quite rapidly. Uh, the gentleman there, he went around a pause and he makes his way to us. back a little bit if you'd be so kind. As you're nearest to the stars, we'll start with you, so you're going to be the person number three from here on in. So number three. And I think you'll probably go for that. So, if you'd like to select one of the remaining three stars to stand behind. Fantastic. Okay, this gentleman here, you know. Rob, nice to meet you, Rob. Uh, you're now person number four. Your number's number four. And... I think you'll probably go for that, hopefully. Which means that will give you no choice if he does that, but to go for that. So you'll be number five, and that means you'd have to go for that. Otherwise, I made my prediction wrong. It's quite simple as that. So if you'd like to rub, choose which star you're going to go to. Person number five, your name, sir? Julian. Julian, thank you, Julian. So you each know your numbers, yeah? We'll need them later, but for now, I said it was a celebrity walk of fame. So, to make things a little bit more interesting, we've got some yeah. celebrities here tonight, or alleged ones, because you've got all this A list, B list, C list, D list, Z list. I think that most of them are stuck up their asses. I think A stands for asses, B for bastards, C for cunts, D for dickheads. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. Um, which I'm sure some of you do share. We've got Mr. Simon Cow, we've got Ozzy Osbourne. We've got Elvis Presley, there's uh, Callie Minogue, uh, David Beckham, who knows more about music than his wife, that's why she's in there, uh, he's in there, and the Queen. Why shouldn't she have a choice in what act is actually going to be on the Royal Variety Show, rather than being told? Now you may have noticed there's six celebrities here, but only five people on stage. This means that one of these is going to be eliminated. <coughs> Hopefully I predicted correctly. We shall see. So, take the six celebrities, you by all means you can mix them up, but basically just select one celebrity for yourself that you're going to become tonight. Doesn't matter whether it's male or female, nobody will think any less of you. 
Proof, huh? And if you'd like to do the same thing, <laughs> remove one celebrity and pass them along. So that each of you end up with a celebrity and we're going to eliminate one of those people is basically going to get eliminated from this. So one of them is going to be discarded. Who are we getting rid of tonight? Oh, I'd have a love to have said you got the eggs, but no. So we got rid of David Beckham. <laughs> Popular choice with some, not with others. Well, here's the thing. You know at the start of these talent shows, in fact, put your mask on, everyone. You can get a better look. It makes great pictures for face. <laughs> So we've got Simon Cowell, the Queen, fantastic, who needs to hypnotise people? Alvis Presley, Kylie Minogue and Ozzy Osbourne. All these faces picked randomly. But I can tell you now, I didn't predict that you'd be stood where you are now. I predicted where the celebrities would choose to be. And now you're those celebrities, you're going to take on a choice of standing somewhere else. So, when the music begins, <coughs> I'd like you all to mix up and decide on standing behind a different star Right now, music maestro, please. You're number four. Okay. Oh no. It's that one. Okay. Hold that against your chest. We'll come to you in a minute. Ozzy, what number were you, Mr. Osborne? Uh, three. Three. Okay. Yeah. Can you hold that against your chest? Uh, this is weird. Uh, actually, I tell you, this level it does actually look like. I'm getting stared at by Kylie Benoit, which would be quite a pleasant experience if she wasn't so flat-faced <laughs> or chesty. Um, <laughs> Kylie, what number are you? Five. You're number five, okay. Well, that's easy, that actually. Which means, actually, Simon, you can only be one thing. You can only be the last envelope, so hold that against your chest. Fantastic. So, the Queen, Elvis, Ozzy, Kylie, Simon, you chose your own positions. Because you've got your own mind <coughs> rather than the human beings they have up here before. So, what I'd like you to do, we'll come to the Queen first, but you may want to pop your mask off, Queen, just the Queen at the moment, and take the mask away from you. I'd like you to read out what I predicted on here. There should be a read out the thing and what I've underlined, and hopefully we should be somewhere close. Read it out nice and loud. Red is the favourite colour of celebrity judge, the Queen. Open your envelope. Red, it is indeed the Queen. We get number one. Correct. Keep hold of your red law for the moment. Okay. We'll move to Alvis Presley. Alvis, take your mask off. Fantastic. Let's look at your envelope. Um, can you read out what's there and the one I've underlined? Orange is the favourite colour of celebrity judge, Alvis Presley. Open up. Orange. We got two. We're getting that. We're getting there. This is good. So, Ozzy, can you take the mask off? We can speed this up a bit. Ozzy Osborne, uh, read out what we've got, what's underlined. The statement. Yellow, yellow is the favourite colour of celebrity judge Ozzy Osborne. Open the envelope. Let's see. We've definitely got the right envelope. Did I put the right colour in it? Yes! Yes! Fantastic! Um, Kylie, thank you very much indeed. Read out the sentence and the one I've underlined. Green is the favourite colour of celebrity judge Kylie Minogue. And it is green! Go on! And that hopefully will mean that Mr. Simon Cowell should hope to have them up. Blue is the favourite colour of just Simon Cowell. Well, around the ladies and gentlemen, we got the right masks with the right colours, but did the celebrity stand in the right place? I'd like you to kneel. I'll take these colours off you. Remember, we've got blue here, green, yellow, orange, red. Just kneel down, pick up your star of fame, or stood behind 
pick it up towards you and turn it round, show everyone what colour you stood behind. Oh, wow. We've got one there. It's fantastic. Thank you very much indeed. Just stay there one moment because before you go back to the audience, this will make sense.